I feel like I was just making a video a minute ago. Uh, I got some orders today, so I'm sharing the unboxing of them with you. Um, for some reason I was expecting more than this somehow, but I just, I don't know. So this is from a shop in um, Santa Cruz called Peyton Street Pins. They are, oddly enough, on Peyton Street. They, um, they make their own pins, um, and they collaborate, I don't know if that's the right word, with this company, I think it's called Ranga, in, um, India to make these pins out of ebonite, and I don't own any ebonite pins, and I felt like I should have one, and this pin model is called Miwok, Miwok 2. The Miwok were, are, I don't know if they still are, a, a local tribe here. They're the people we displaced. This mission I live oh so near. So, here's the pen. Ooh, Ebonite has a smell. I have been told about it. You know what it's a lot like? Nobody tells you. They're like, oh, Ebonite. It smells like tires. Not surprising. It's vulcanized rubber. So, I'm really thrilled with this pen. I like that it's like got this local connection to the... From a local man, local company to, and, and that it sort of, I don't know if celebrates is the right word, but the Miwok people. So I'm really excited for this. I got this in a matte black because I don't own any matte black pens and there's this other matte black pen that I've been looking at that costs a whole lot more than this and so maybe this will scratch that itch. Also, I like, look at that. If it was this way, I bet it would stand like this. I bet it would. So, I like this. This it has a thing that says like, look at it. Look, it has my name, and it says who it was assembled by. That's special. And I like this little box. So very excited. And then, because what you should understand is I don't have enough pens. placed an order with jet pins because I have problems. Um, also because they have these these things I wanted. Oh, this came with a comic. Okay, this is not a pen. This is this really neat little mini microscope. They have like office toys. And um, I figured that like I would get this uh, and I thought I could probably use it as a loop. But even if I can't, or I could potentially send it to my lovely little nibblings who are not so little. So this is this microscope. It comes with this thing so you can like make your phone go on it. Would you like look through here? Well, 
Anyway, and it's a microscope. And, um, oh, and you can put batteries in it so that there's a light. And they give you some, they give you a slide, a, a sample slide of onion skin. Like, basically, I'm going to be a scientist now. Watch out, world. I'm going to find the cure for diseases that I cause. Just kidding. Really, that's just a toy for me. And I think it's okay for adults to have toys sometimes. But not everything has to be utilitarian like fountain pens. Even if you buy it from a store where you buy fountain pens. Holy good night. Yo, this is wrapped so well. I don't know if I can get into it. Okay, I got I got an edge. I got an edge, and I think it's going. I think it's going. Oh yeah, got in. Got in. Who was that? Oh right. Okay. So here are the very important things that I had to buy. I got this pen, clicky pen. This is for sewing. So the ink in here is a thermal ink, like the kind that those tape register things are made out of. And you write with it and it goes away with heat. It's really great for sewing and this one has a finer tip than the ones I have. Put it right there with my sewing things. Then, I got a pen. As we discussed, I don't have enough pens. Oh my gosh. This is taking... Take some deep breaths. So, I could talk about the parts of a fountain pen. I'll do that with this other new pen I got. So you have the cap. That's obvious. The barrel. The section, this is a converter. This part is the feed, and that's the nib. So, common thing, not uncommon thing in fountain pens is to have what they call demonstrator pens, meaning that instead of being opaque, it is transparent or translucent. But the thing about that is in most transparent pens, the feed is still that black. So they're not really transparent, are they? You get like, the effect is ruined. You have this pen and then pff, this stupid black part. So I found this pen. This is the Caveco Perkeo, Perkeo, whatever. And I like this. It's just a pop cap instead of twist. That's nice. And the feed is transparent. And I'm really stoked about that so that I can see the ink go like boop into it. Oops. So it came with this colored ink cartridge. And what's nice is it came with another ink cartridge without anything in it so I can put my own ink in there. And I believe most of the Caveco pens you can, should you choose, just fill up this whole part with ink. Uh, I don't think I'm going to because I like going through lots of different inks. So I'll probably refill this. But also, maybe not, because Oh yeah, that's nice. Because I bought a little six pack of blue black ink cartridges. I don't know why. Oh, they're called Midnight Blue, but I think they're blue black. Um cuz I like I guess because I like blue black and I don't think I have any. And for these pins I got, wait, pins you say? I also got this other pin because I wanted it. It's like pina colada colored. In fact, it's called coconut. So this, I have a pin just like this. 
this also came with one of their, I think it probably comes with blue. And see, look, here's my point. What if this had the clear feed? How much doper would that be? I wonder if they can go in there. No, I think not. This nib is smaller. So I have a pin like this. You just seen it if you watched my video that the top is hot pink clear and the bottom is just clear clear. So this is kind of milky. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Boop, 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 boop. I think it'd be nice to take with me as a take with me pin. Like it was very inexpensive. Same with this, but this is bigger. Ooh, I do like this. I can't wait. It's about time for me to fill up some new pens because my old ones are going dry. Um, and I don't have enough pens. So, oh, and then the other thing I got, I almost forgot to show you these because I was so excited by the pens. I got these stickers for my, I keep a, a daily journal. Honestly, I wonder if I should have gotten more. But they seem like a good idea. So these are the weather. And then these are your mood. And the thing about these, I guess, no, you know what? It looks like how many days I can only keep it for so many, but like Maria, you're not going to like use all of them on one day and like cross out the ones you don't need. I suspect I'm going to use more of these than some others because generally when I remember to track my mood, it's when it's, um, but I'm going to try and I'm hoping that having a little sticker that I can put down might make it easier. So I think these are, they're not, des they're, not, they're by Midori, I believe. So probably not designed for the Hobonichi Techo. But that's okay. They're super cute. And I will start using them now. Uh, will not write this second tonight. I actually last night was like, Maria, don't forget to do the thing. And so I, I actually did write down last night mood and weather. Um, now I have a mess of things all around me. Um, here's the pants I got. There you go. Weren't those exciting? Because I mentioned them. Um, I got some pins to play with and a microscope. I wonder if we can look through the microscope. I wonder, it probably has directions. Let's see. Let's do this one. Is that, that's a hundred. Okay, we want a hundred X. I'm gonna put the pen nib under here. Oh, I see you. Okay, you're right there. Do I see you? I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm really bad at, I was gonna say microphones. I'm bad at microphones too, but I'm pretty bad at microscopes. So I think what I will do is like some later point, come back and tell you what I think of the three pins that I absolutely needed 100%. Look at this little family. No. Little Maria. Um, I'm going to go lay down now because my stomach is still feeling a bit like it's going to rebel. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>